Racing equipment. It's happy hour in Memphis, Tennessee, as we'll bring to a close the Schnitz Memphis Blues Nationals with some of the pro shootouts beginning with the street bike shootout, Barry Henson and Kent Stotts. And Kent needs to run 198 miles an hour to back up that 200 mile an hour pass from the last round, but he could also tie the points for the championship with a win here. Barry Henson had the better life. Barry Henson picks up the win. 7.37 beats a 7.37-1, but Stott did go 199.73. And that was the quickest side-by-side -side pass ever in street bike shootout with that 37 to 37. We'll be riding each other for a long time on this one here, but, uh, but it was awesome, man. I'm glad to see Kent in the finals with me, and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna see a bunch more of him real soon. Barry extends that lead over Kent Stotts, Ricky Gatson, number four, Mikey Slow, and Trevor Altman. Now the pro stock final on the line, the number one qualifier, Paul Gast against the number two qualifier, Steve Johnson. This could be real tight. And Steve could win right here, but he red lights and stalls the bike on the starting line, ruining any chance of winning the championship. Wow, what an easy victory for Paul Gass, but he does it in style 718, 186 mile per hour to take the win. Sometimes these things kind of happen. I think I put a pretty good lap out there, though. Might have been a little tough one for him to beat anyways, but we're really pleased. We've got a lot of horsepower to this fast by Gas Suzuki, and I'm going to dedicate this win to Dana, Maggie Rose, Kyle, Glenn, and Jen. I love them all. Deggy holds on to that points lead over Dean Franz. Steve Johnson stays number three. Paul Gast and Estes. Pro modified final now. Mimo Marciano out of New York against Steve Smithers from Kansas. A Suzuki Kawasaki battle. We'll see how they get off the line, but this race is over by the 60 foot clock. Marciano kills him on the tree. Marciano had a great 071 reaction time, combines that with a 694 at 188 to take the win. Over Smithers, losing 702. We had to make a motor swap before the final. Had a bunch of people come help me. Mike Caputo and his family, Bill Vose, Scott Valetti. My crew did an excellent job, Ray and Mike. Love them all. I got the best crew in the world. And Charlie Farrah does lock up the championship, followed by Campbell, Marciano, Johnson, and Beck. Now the funny bike final, Travis Davis out of Douglas, Georgia on a Kawasaki against Corey Hogan from Colorado on his Suzuki. And Travis Davis, the former champion, is gonna try to move up the ladder here by winning this event, keeping his hopes alive. Hogan had a 0-4-0 hole shot, but Davis draws by him, 664, beats a 671. He ran 204 miles per hour. Oh man, that's career best. Never been that fast in my life. The man that builds my fuel system, uh, Gary Clark builds his and he, he told us what to do and I like to thank all my sponsors and family because man it's we ain't never been that fast and I'm just tickled. Davis is gaining on him in the points, but Corey Hogan hangs on to number one, followed by Davis, Nickelberry, Holly, and Connor. Now the top fuel final where we find the number one qualifier, Larry McBride. He's been running in the fives. He'll face the number two qualifier, Chris Hand. And Chris would love to win a first race this year with his new sponsor, Rance Aluminum Trailers. But he's gonna have his hands full. Yeah, McBride, wire to wire, only runs a 6'11", 235, hand slow to a 714. 6'11 with a three at 235, and how many cylinders did you do that with? Well, we ain't real sure. I don't know one thing. I know it dropped at least two leaving the starting line, and it cleaned up. And I looked over, I saw Chris driving around me. I'm going, oh, my God, Red's going to get me, you know? And all of a sudden, mine cleaned up, and I think something happened to him. He had to shut off, and, uh, you know, I got another win. I tell you, I just uh, thank God that we done it, and I want to thank Pinkle Enterprise, Trim Tech, Red Line Oil, and Drag Specialties. I mean, without them, it wouldn't, make, it wouldn't be possible for me to be here. Yeah, Hans bike got a little ill-behaved. He had to roll out of it and give this one back to you. But uh, but still, perfect season so far, and now you made it a perfect season. 
What were you feeling at that moment when you thought it was going to be gone? Well, you know, if, if Chris had to beat me, you know, it would have been no big deal because me and him are good friends. Of course, I want to keep the perfect season. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But, you know, with, if Chris had done it, then I'd been just as happy for him because he's been struggling really hard this year. And this weekend was his weekend because he's been running extremely well. And I'm just glad to see that another competitor is working real hard. Larry McBride wins the championship, followed by Hand and Webb and Sloan and Smith fight for number two. Now join us for our next coverage. Next Wednesday, we'll be in Bristol, Tennessee, our usual time, this time covering the AHDRA. That'll be at the usual time slot, 11 p.m. Until then, I'm Ted Jones for Griff Allen and Keith Kaiser. Thanks for watching. So long, everyone. To obtain a copy of this show, log on to masterstv.com.